Hey guys, this is Necro from the Roughnecks. Um, I recently had a comment on one of my on my Sistema reviews saying if you can put up a video on uh, disassembly, um, trigger response, all this other stuff. Um, I guess you can look at my review of the Sistema to check out the trigger response. I don't have the battery in. Kind of lazy. And this, I guess this would be a disassembly video, which is kind of straightforward. I mean, there's not much to disassemble on this other than disassembling a whole cylinder, but I'm not going to do that because the cylinders are working fine. So I guess this will be a video on how to disassemble and replace your cylinder because I think that's what he means. I'm not sure. So, um, it's pretty much straightforward, like a real AR or a real M4, or a real M16. You got your pin here, you'll obviously you want to make sure that your weapon is clear, all that kind of stuff. You don't want anything shooting out while you're working on it. So, you pretty much have these pins here. You have one right there, one right here. Simply just push one of them in. Pull out the pin. Just snag it down to open it. I'm not going to remove the front pin because there's real no need to. Alright, so you got your uh, gold cylinder right there. And to remove it, pretty much the same thing on how to remove a bolt from a real M4. All you have to do, except these don't slide out as easily as a, real, as a bolt in a real M4. So all you have to do is pull the torsion handle, pull up, and your cylinder will actually come out. It's right there. Place it on the table, and your charger handle comes out. So all you gotta do, put it back in, put it back all the way, which is locked. And now I have my blue one. You just, have you noticed, you can see this little sticking point right here, this little ridge or whatever the fuck you want to call it. You gotta make sure it's aligned. Right here, this little indent, so just make sure it's aligned. Just try to put it in as straight as possible, because once you have it in there, it's kind of hard to move like from side to side, so you can, most of the time you have to take it out. So all you gotta do, again, you got your cylinder right there, just slide it in, make sure it's straight, there you go. I just changed my FPS from what, 440, about there, to 360 with two O's. All you gotta do, close it up, make sure it makes it a little clean so when you close it up, push the pan and you're set to go. So um, yeah, that's pretty much a disassembly video on on this. Um, I guess you can disassemble the handguards, but I already did that, I already replaced them with the Riz. Um, you can disassemble the trigger, oh, since I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys right now, what trigger came with. Uh, I mean the pistol grip. It comes with this pistol grip right here. This is the actual pistol grip it comes with, but it doesn't come black. I spray painted it. If you guys can see, it comes to that. Yeah, you can probably see better like that. It comes in that blue. So that blue color that's in there, it's the whole thing. Everything was made out of blue. I guess like a blue mold or some shit like that. So it comes with that, that's why I took it off. Because I didn't want a blue hand grip. So now that I spray painted it, I probably did like four coats, three or four coats. So um, I'm going to probably do a couple more coats just so that the paint doesn't chip away easily. And uh, see if I want to put it back on the Sistema instead of this uh, GMP uh, one I have. Because th this is a little fatter um, as far as. Um, when you're holding it and stuff like that. I mean, this is uh, pretty much the standard actual size of a real AR M4, M16, or 15, stuff like that. So that's what I kind of want. I want, kind of want that real feel to it. So um, yeah, it came with that, but it comes in this blue. That's why I took it off. But I painted it, so I don't know. We'll see if I want to put it back on or not. It's not too hard. You have your allen wrench keys right here, you just all you gotta do is pop them off it's not like uh, AEG's where you gotta you know 
pull the wires out and and uh, and pull the wires out and get to a screw that's up here on the gearbox. This is just pull this out. Take the Allen, take the little bottom plate off and just slide it right out and slide it right in. So that's pretty much a disassembly video. I don't know what the guy was talking about because that's pretty much all you need to do to disassemble. And I'm not going to take apart my gearbox and all that kind of stuff because that's going to be pointless. So yeah, that's how you swap out cylinders, I guess. That's what he wanted. Um, you have what your goal, you have a black which is I think 320 FPS, your blue which is 360 FPS, your gold which is about 440 FPS, and your red, I think that that's about 500. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, video on taking apart this assembly or whatever, whatever you want to call it, cylinder swap out. So yeah, uh, check out my other videos. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Again, this is Necro from the Roughnecks.